Hi guys, it's me, Mrs. T, and today I wanted to come to you to give you a short tutorial on how to take your Periscope to YouTube. It's actually pretty easy, but the precursor to what you're going to do here is you actually have to go into your settings on Periscope and make sure that you have it set to save to either camera or gallery. Once you have that done, you can do this very easily. We're going to start out in Canva. And in Canva, I actually set my dimensions to what I use for my thumbnails for um, YouTube. I actually use 606 by 342. This has worked for me in the past. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys have your own dimensions that you use, but these should work as well. Um, once you have your dimensions set, you're going to go ahead and select a background for your image. Now, we want this to look nice, but for today's purposes, we're going to use one of Canva's free images. They have a lot of options, free ones as well as paid ones. Um, as you can tell, the free ones have the little white tabs, so you know which ones are free. And the paid ones tend to just be a little bit more fancy with a bit more imagery and stuff like that. But today, we're going to use a free version, and we're going to go with this like um, pretty plain like beige, back, beige background. Um, once you pick your background, just click it and it'll show up on your image. So from there, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to search for an image to use as a placeholder for our Periscope video. I like to use a smartphone image because it tends to fit perfectly and it connects with the fact that Periscope is recorded on your phone, 9 out of 10. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this iPhone image. This one is a dollar, but I think it's totally worth it in the end. I can save this image to my desktop and it will last forever. And I can use it as my permanent Periscope to YouTube overlay. So a dollar is not really that big an investment. Um, you go ahead and you put it in the middle because that's where your video is going to be there is going to be. We want to have this image to help eliminate the two black bars that usually show up on YouTube when you upload a vertical um video so that means we have the two sides the right and the left side of this image free what we're going to do with those is we're going to use them for basically free advertisement um i'm going to use the left side to instruct viewers to follow me on periscope and then i'll use the left side later to instruct them to follow me over on twitter since periscope and twitter are directly connected now, Canva is really awesome because although they have a lot of images you can use, you can also upload images from your own computer, which is what I did with this Periscope logo. I actually had this from an image I made earlier. So I just uploaded it and I'm going to use that for the follow me on Periscope side of the image. Um, I'm going to add my Periscope handle down below, which is the Mrs. T. Feel free to follow me, guys. Um, and then, like I said, on the other side, I'm just going to mirror image that. So I'm actually going to just copy my text so that I don't have to go through rewriting it and finding the text and formatting it all over again. I'm going to copy it and move it over to the right side. And then, like I said, Canva does have free images. So for that, I'm actually going to just do a search for Twitter so that I can find one that I want to use to say follow me on Twitter. I'm just going to go ahead and use the well-known Twitter bird. And we're going to drag her over and size her down a bit to match the periscope image once we do that i'm going to recopy um my handle text because i want it to be formatted the same but for me personally my twitter handle is actually different than my periscope handle um because i have i own two twitter names so periscope i'm the mrs t but over on twitter i'm actually mrs th because that's what i started out with so i'm going to go ahead and fix that and change that over there so this is basically our base for our overlay for Periscope to YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and download that to my PC or to my MacBook. I'm going to pick the highest quality image because I am using this image for YouTube. So I want it to match the standards of my videos and the rest of what I have on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to download it high quality PNG. And once I click that, you're just going to wait a moment and let it... Go ahead and download. Make sure you have it saved somewhere you can find it. Most times it automatically goes to downloads on a MacBook. Um, because after we do this, we're going to grab this for later. We have a little bit more editing to do. We're going to take it over to lunapic.com. This is actually a website that helps you to add transparency to your images. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab that one we just loaded from Canva and pull it into Lunapic. And once there, I'm going to go ahead and pick edit. 
because I want to remove that white screen image on the phone because I actually need for that to be transparent so that when I overlay it into my YouTube video, my video actually shows through. So you go ahead and look around a bit, but you go to edit and you go down to transparent. I don't know what I was looking for. Go to transparent and you're gonna pick select area because we don't wanna make the entire image transparent, just that screen portion of the phone. The tool that we're gonna use is actually gonna be rectangle because rectangle is gonna let us have it be exactly the middle portion of the screen. So we're gonna take those crossbars, the crosshair bar, and drag it down to remove that white area of the phone screen that we have on the image. Now, once you do that, you go ahead and you click cut out up at the top and that will give you the transparency that you're looking for. Now, if you see, those are the little squares that we all recognize when we have a transparency on an image. So this image is now all ready to get downloaded to your computer and saved so that we can go ahead and use it to overlay our Periscope video. We're gonna go over to iMovie and we're just gonna start a new project. Um, for now, I'm gonna name it, we don't need a theme. I'm gonna name it Periscope Test because that's what this is for you guys. Once you have it named, you're going to go ahead and that should be your, you should have your um Periscope video uploaded. And I already did this. So this is my Periscope. And if you see it, I have those two black bars on either side. And that's because Periscope is recorded vertically. But with the magic of this overlay, we're going to be able to eliminate those black bars and make this YouTube friendly. So I'm going to go ahead and search my desktop for the image that I saved from Lunapic with the transparency. Um in it and once I grab that image I'm gonna go ahead and load that or import that into my iMovie program once there I'm gonna go ahead and grab that image make sure you have the yellow around it so that you know it's ready to move I'm gonna grab that and lay it on top of my periscope video now if you see once it's overlaid you don't have those black bars but you do need to adjust the image somewhat so go to crop and you don't want it to fit to screen. You actually need it to be Ken Burns. If you don't select the Ken Burns version, it will actually black out your video. So you just select Ken Burns and make sure you crop the image to fit both start and end to fit the entire screen. And then you're just gonna drag that image across your entire clip. Oops, I went a little bit too far. We're gonna back up and fix that. But you want the image to go across your entire video clip so that you are good to go. Now, if you see here, that was what it would look like before, and we have fixed that. We're gonna go ahead and load it over to YouTube. Just pick share and share it to YouTube and click publish. Now, you guys know this usually takes a little bit longer than this, but we sped it up a bit for purposes of the video. Share is successful. We're gonna go grab that in YouTube. Now, it does take a bit for it to finish actually editing and loading over on YouTube, even if it says it's successfully shared from iMovie. But you go to your YouTube channel and click into Video Manager. There is my video. It is uploading. And thanks to speeding up, it has been uploaded completely. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. Now, I did not add a thumbnail just for today's purposes, but you can always do that. Once you have it, there's your finished product. Your viewers can now watch your Periscope video without those black bars that you usually see when you upload a vertical video to YouTube. You have the free advertising space on either side, and you have a really cool way to take your Periscope video and take it to YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope that it was helpful. If it has been, please like and subscribe. Give me a bunch of thumbs up and make sure to share this video with those you know who have been trying to figure out how to take their Periscope over to YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Smooches.